Hey guys, I wanted to shoot a quick video about a story I read about a disabled couple in New York who were married about a month ago and they're not allowed to live together. I think that's absolutely horrible. I think that in this world, when laws decide if people are capable of having relationships, if they can have sex, that they overstepped the boundaries of the way we were created and what this world is all about. And I think that people like you and me have to say something. I have um, my uncle, he is now deceased, his name was Tom. Tom was a Down Syndrome's baby. He lived to be uh, over 40 and he lived in a group home. He was functional, he was an usher in the church, he had a girlfriend. He was always telling us about his girlfriend. If Tom had, <laughs> excuse me, if Tom had decided that he wanted to marry someone and live a normal life as possible, I don't think that we as his family or the state of New Jersey, because he lived in Jersey, or anyone else had the right to tell him that he couldn't do that. And I, I'm including the story down there so you can read it. But I think it's absolutely horrible to live in a country where people who love each other want to do the right thing. They don't just want to live together. They, they are married. And the Bible says that marriage is honorable in all and the bed undefiled, which basically means that married people can do whatever they want to do in their bedroom. Yet the state of New York wants to tell this couple that they cannot live together and they have to leave each other every day and go to different group homes. I'm sorry, but that's just horrible. It is horrible. It's a sad indictment on our country and the state of New York. And I, I am hoping and praying that something changes because that's just not right. It's just not right. So now this is my rant. Tell me what you think about it after you read this story. And I want to say to that couple, I am praying that the laws change. I hope you win your lawsuit and that you get to live happily ever after with the people that you love your husband and your wife you deserve it so that's it guys leave your comments down there tell me what you think it's just horrible it is just horrible so i'll talk to y'all later bye now every couple has a story of how they met for Paul Forziano and Hava Samuels, it all started with a joke. Yeah, no. You did? I mean, oh, I did. Are you going to see me do that? Banana. <laughs> Last month, eight years after that joke, Forziano and Samuels walked down the aisle. The newlyweds now spend their days together, but every night they go their separate ways. Forziano and Samuels are mentally disabled, and their respective group homes won't let them live together. The couple and their parents are now challenging the Holmes' decision in court. Paul and Harvey being married is a civil right. They are married, and the agencies are supposed to provide them with adequate housing as a married couple or any counseling that they might need. One of the homes, Mary Haven Center of Hope, didn't comment. But in the legal complaint, independent group home living, Faziano's home, claimed their facilities are not staffed or designed to house and supervise married couples. Mentally disabled couples living together is nothing new, but whether a group home has the legal obligation to accommodate the needs of a married couple has made the case of particular legal interest. If this case was to proceed to trial or even to resolution on paper, then it is very likely it, it will be precedent setting. The case is complicated, but it's simple to see why this battle is so important to the couple. Heartbroken. Heartbroken. Yeah, yeah. We're very sad when we leave each other. Okay. And uh, that we want to be together. Together, like any other married couple, on their own terms. David Martin, Associated Press.